Hello, my name is Harald Schirmer, and today I want to show you the impact of audio and video setup in terms of quality. And this is how it also could sound like and look like. But let's take one step at a time. How much money do you need to invest or what equipment really makes sense? And well, what is the difference? Let's take a look together. Now, this is how it sounds, it looks like, if you use the built-in microphone and speaker of your notebook. And this is the same setup, but now with a Jabra speakerphone. I'm sure you could hear the difference. The first one, the built-in microphone, which is already a pretty good one for a notebook, sounds like you're sitting in a small metal box. The next one I showed you, the Jabra, it's more optimized for audio speaking and also moving around in the room, you don't hear much of a difference. The big disadvantage of the microphone of a notebook is if you're not in the perfect angle to the microphone, you barely can hear anything. Now, that's another upgrade. So we have the speakerphone and we have now an external webcam. In this case, it's the Logitech Brio. It's a 4K camera and you already get a much nicer picture. If you want to get even better pictures, I recommend a professional video camera, which you can connect uh, through a cam link. Uh, and this is what we are using right now, a 4K Sony camera with a cam link. Last but not least, light makes a huge difference. As you can see now, I have a ring light here uh, in front of my desk, so you are completely independent of where your window is and what daylight situation you have in your conferences. As we have a better picture now and a better image quality, it's of course important to have a better audio quality as well. Here you can see a little clip-on microphone which you can put on your wrist and then you can walk around. This is already a very high quality thing. It's a Sennheiser EW100. For more dynamic meetings where you want to walk around, you surely need an independent microphone which you can wear on your shirt. To get the best out of your audio quality, I also would recommend not using speakerphones or loudspeakers, but using a headset. This will avoid that you get an echo or any audio interference from your loudspeakers to your microphone. You can of course also use smaller headsets as well. And this is how one of the very common microphones sound like. This is the so-called Blue Yeti. I can show it to you. It already has a much better quality and you can also use that for more people if you are in a studio or if you are in a meeting room. This works in both directions so people sitting next to each other can have a very good discussion. We talked about using an external webcam. Again, this is the Logitech Brio 4K camera and now also with the built-in microphones of that web camera. So you can compare that to the last one. In a physical conference, your clothes, your shoes, your socks, well, are the first impression. In a digital world, I would recommend having the right tools, the right equipment set up in the right way. It really makes a difference how you come across in a video conference, how clear your voice is, how clear your picture is. Can I read something out of your face or is it just a blurry background, uh, shiny uh, side light from, from a window and maybe a voice which is coming out of a box? This setup right now is a, a podcasting microphone connected to an arm. And as you can see, it's also detached via this part in front of uh, from typing noises or from any other noises on the screen. This one is also hooked up to a, a mixing board, uh, which then also gives you the opportunity, as, uh, as I'm doing right now, putting some music in there as a background or maybe also adding some nice noises to make your presentations more vibrant. So I highly recommend, well, take care of your equipment, learn it, and I hope that was all helpful for you. I'm not a professional audio or video mixer, so I have to learn myself. We didn't even cover settings yet, so you can change a lot about it and you can see some things, it looks a little bit pale or it looks a little bit too warm. So there's a lot to learn for both of us. Let's go to a learning journey. Let's exchange what we've learned. It's not a commercial. It's not about the different brands I was showing you. I just wanted to make you aware how different those uh, different equipments work. Do you really have to get out and buy all this expensive equipment now? Well, I think not, because you already have a smartphone and you basically have also a headset with a microphone right in front of you. This works really, really well. So maybe also that would be a great option to optimize your video appearance.